So before I take my trip to <coughs> New Zealand later today, I figured I'd show off a little arcade game called Total Carnage. Now this was the sequel to an arcade game called Smash TV. And you're probably wondering why I'm playing the sequel instead of the original. Why don't we start playing the game and then we'll get to the point where I said, yeah, this needs to be played. It's important. The Total Carnage is the most 90s American game you could possibly imagine. Beautiful news reporters getting kidnapped by monsters, bioterrorists, General Akboob. There's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Send in the Doomsday Squad. Now, if that voice doesn't seem familiar to you of the commander telling you to send in the Doomsday Squad, don't worry. We have someone coming up later in this game that will make my... <laughs> Decision to play this game all too clear. Any, in any case, total carnage. This is a dual stick shooter. So, uh, before we get into gameplay, just a view of mission one. It, it looks small, trust me, it's not. So this is a dual stick shooter. We have bombs with us. They can be used to blow up landmines. We can pick up various power-ups along the way. Note that power-ups replace the current powered-up weapon that you have. There is also a hidden criteria in this game. That unless you know it exists, you're not going to be very pleasurable. Like that. Thankfully, we're on free play, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Let's prepare for total carnage, which means you're going to spend the majority of this section gunning down enemies from every which direction. In case you couldn't tell, this is the sequel to Smash TV. The DNA is there. So, bombs? They have alright to decent range. They are more effective on bosses, provided you get a little reckless. If you see a blue square, pick it up. And if you think... Yeah, there's your missile. If you see a nuclear warhead just lying around, pick it up. As you can see, this game is a riot. As 90s action as it gets. We get our tail bombs replaced with nuclear strikes. And of course, watch your step. There are warps throughout the game. We missed one in the very beginning. Sort of a pick up where you left off save. It's basically a bonus area. For the sake of time, we will be avoiding them pick up as many American flags as we can. To my knowledge, and it's been a while, you actually can't blow up nor shoot the hostages. But you yourself can get shot if you're a little too careless. So, these keys. There are 220 of them in the entire game. 
If you pick up all the keys by some divine miracle, you gain access to the Pleasure Dome, aka the game's true ending. Watch your step around enemies. They will club you in the head, and it will not end well. So if you pick up a big blue case, you will constantly drop bombs of your own- <laughs> Not of your own free will, mind you. So you're playing as Captain Carnage. Whose job is to pick up multiple guns and shoot up multiple people. Grab as many hostages as you can in one gulp. More bonus points. And of course, this is an arcade game. We do value points. Oh, I was careless there. I do need to use a couple bombs to blow up these landmines. That's probably where they are the most useful. The three-way here, definitely my favorite of the weapons. Very similar to your spread guns. Oh, it's a little late for that. Like, thanks for the warning, game. Tell me I've absorbed total pain. When I got electrocuted. For the record, this game is a quarter muncher. Once we start getting to the bosses of this game, you will begin to understand that lesson all too well. I'm trying to avoid because they're just swarming the place. Yeah, Playthrower is nice once in a while. It doesn't have the range. But listen to this voice. I'll buy you for a dollar! So the voice of General Akboob, that is none other than Mr. Ed Boon. To my knowledge, Help me. the only credit for voiceovers in the credit screen is for Ed Boon. So I have to assume that he is providing the voice of the sinister General Akboob. If you needed a reason why I am playing this game, once again, for historical purposes. There you go. Mystery solved. These enemies. They constantly puke green all over your general area. Circle strafe and blast accordingly. You should really save your bingos for when things get a little too hot to handle. Well, that was a trap. Yep. Ooh, that was close. That was not close. That was dead on. Okay. Yep. For the record, the game is once again determined to get your money, because the majority of the time you will spend it in one place, gunning down hundreds upon thousands of enemies. Oof. Sorry, just gotta watch myself. Try to stick to the center of the screen if you can. I know it is tempting to back off. But it's a lot better doing it this way. 
then getting smacked from behind from someone that just appeared on screen three seconds ago. For the usual, the game offers a couple of sarcastic pieces of reinforcement. As was the style of 90s games. Sarcastic and talking down was kind of the way we toughened up back in the day. Yeah, I was asking for that. I'm not touching that green sludge, and you shouldn't either. That is kind of rough. I, I'm trying to save hostages, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the record, hostages are mostly just bonus points. They don't have any influence on your perfect ending. It's just it's just the right thing to do. Yeah, so this game does like to conceal a few traps every now and then. Gotta grab the TV prizes. Grab our second checkpoint. Checkpoints mostly if you if you run out of coins and lives and you enter the warp zone, they offer you a password. And that password can be used at the beginning of the game to drop you off at a checkpoint. Pretty sure there are some passwords that actually get you to the end of the game. And shit. Granted, you still have to work for your perfect ending. Really should bomb a lot more often, but I'm always underestimating its range. <laughs> I kind of wish there was a general indicator of if I'm running out of ammo, because it happens way too quick. At least with Metal Slug, you get an indicator. Just saying. Oh, that was dumb. That's me. Aren't you glad I have free play on for this? I mean, I am. Yeah. I only help those who help themselves. Well, it's not entirely true. You and your vile... Your vile trees everywhere. I know, I know. You're off screen now. I'm very sorry. The game never lets up. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. The 
if you're not looking at dozens of enemies on screen, you're not really playing Total Carnage. Help me. Those are interesting me. hints. So, now we fight the boss. If you played Smash TV, this should look very familiar. So, I'm not gonna look where I aim. The only thing I'm doing is looking where I dodge. Good job. Good show, team. Kind of hard to tell where he is sometimes. So as you can see, guys, kind of a tank. We just now put his arm on fire. Yep. Per the hint. Drop bombs where he's going to land. Oh, I gotta fight this. Man. Yeah, I have to stick that out in the corner. Okay. Bombs? Already? There we go. Oh. In some cases, it can just be a little overwhelming. But like I said, this game wanted your money. As I said, that's not even the end of him. You just took down one arm. Oh, I'm playing a little ballsy right now. The fact that there is just so much shit on the screen at any time. Granted, I lived in the bullet hell trenches for years. Normally, this would have been nothing to me, but... That bullet hell lifestyle was a long time ago. I don't know what we blew up, but it hurt. Oh, the rest of the arm. Yeah, very dangerous going behind him. I normally just stick to his side when he's in this form, because he will try to tongue you from the bottom of the screen. The biggest threat here is the homing missiles, just because of the speed they move. Alright, oh god, it just walked on top of me! Could you please get off the power up? Appreciate it. Well, I don't appreciate that. Okay. Oh. 
Damn it, I wanted to go to the side. I wanted to go to the side, but the missile had other plans. Love classic arcade sound effects. Oh, that's right, I don't have bombs. I believe technically you can blow up those missiles on the boss. Like if they hit them, they just they just blow up. Oh yeah, you can shoot them. Duh. Yeah, once you start dealing with the arms, it becomes noticeably more manageable. And it's still not over, by the way. Yeah. Certain projectiles just can't be destroyed. He was jumping. You are a son of a bitch, you know that? Game keeps track of this stuff. Very nice. But yeah, that is total carnage. I figured just doing the first stage would be a good indicator of the type of gameplay you're in for. And it is another mark on Ed Boon's extensive resume, one we are going to become very familiar with over the next few months. Because next time, it's combat time. <laughs>